A New Jersey reproductive facility in March of 2001 announced that they had created genetically altered children. Genetically engineered humans have already been born. Suppose it is 2025, and being a technophile, you purchase cognitive and physical enhancements as they become readily available. First, you add a mobile internet connection to your retina. Then, you enhance your working memory by adding more neural circuitry. You are now officially a cyborg. Post-humans are possible future beings whose basic capacities so radically exceed those of present humans as to be no longer unambiguously human by our present standards. Persons are traditionally regarded as being an important moral category, and as we shall see, considering the nature of persons through the lens of transhumanism involves pushing up against the boundaries of the very notion of what a person is, and that its evolution will be altered by developing technologies. You were once a natural, but you are now almost entirely engineered by technology. When one considers whether to enhance in the radical ways that the transhumanists advocate, one must ask, will this radically enhanced creature still be me? It is up to us to decide how far is too far. Genetic engineering will also have the ability to create the best of an individual, making him or her the best singer, writer, artist that he she can be. It's feared that this technology could cause discrimination of certain traits or characteristics, ultimately rebirthing the beliefs of Adolf Hitler.